this little one's case, the baby had some trouble before delivery, had shoulder dystocia during delivery, there was lack of oxygen, the baby came out floppy, requiring a total respiratory and cardiac support. And the cool cap is the latest technology we have for cooling the brain of infants who have had a hypoxic event, lack of oxygen just before or during the time of birth. Cooling uh, the brain of an infant that has had a hypoxic event will help the brain recover from injury that occurs after that primary injury. The gel cap that circulates the cold water right against the baby's scalp, we massage the baby's scalp every 12 hours to make sure there's no damage from the cold water. And these are two insulators that go over it so that the baby's, that coolness stays where it's supposed to. Alongside with this machine being a refrigerant, it is also t telling us what the baby's temperature is. So it's a very constant monitoring, not just to refrigerate the water, but that we know exactly what we're doing with this, with this baby at any particular time. And we know if the baby starts getting too warm, how to adjust it. We are able to provide this as the second NeuroNICU in the country, as one of our fundamental new technologies that we use. Phoenix Children's Hospital has been incredible and innovative in allowing us to, to acquire this equipment. This is state of the art. Um, if there were no cool cap and if this technology did not exist or if he was in an outlying area that they didn't know that this existed, um, neurologically he would probably have significant long-term sequelae. I couldn't tell you exactly what it is, but probably from the range of significant cerebral palsy all the way to severe mental retardation. Um, whereas with the cool cap we are able to move in the other direction, maybe there will be some developmental delays, maybe there will be some long-term, but they will be not as significant or severe, and with therapies, both physical, occupational, as well as learning therapies, we should have a close to normal outcome. It does make us feel extremely good. We are really in the cusp of being able to make a major difference for babies neurodevelopmentally. And that's huge for the lifetime of this individual. You know, his life will be different, hopefully, because of this.